So the first thing we're going to do with our portfolio is to go to the D2L site and to that ePortfolio area. To begin, go ahead and take your browser to d2l.uwm.edu. You'll see I'm already there. And then go ahead and click the UWM ePanther button. When you do that, it's going to ask you for your ePanther ID and password. Mine's already put in, so I'm just going to hit Login here. Once you've logged in, find the appropriate course. Your screen is going to look a little bit different than mine, but find the course that you're going to. And if you are in a course that does have access to the ePortfolio, somewhere along the top you will see uh, a gray section that does say ePortfolio. Go ahead and click that button, and that will take you to your ePortfolio area. Now one of the important things to remember about this is that the ePortfolio area is something that is personal and belongs to you. Although any course can link to ePortfolio, ePortfolio isn't necessarily a part of that course. Anything that you add here is going to be your content, stuff that belongs to you, and stuff that you can really submit to any course. Some of the things you'll want to keep in mind, the space usage section, the current limit of ePortfolio is 100 megs. Anything that you upload, pictures, Word documents, or even pages that you create within the ePortfolio is going to count toward that allotment. So you just want to be mindful of the things that you upload. If you are uploading very large images, you might want to see what you can do to compress those or shrink them, or just make them take up less space first.